Handing out hot food and putting together sleeping packs at 7pm on a freezing December night for homeless and rough sleepers in Leeds are volunteers at Community Kitchen. Well, we got pot in that yet. Yeah. Often underappreciated for the time and help, these volunteers spend at least two nights a week handing out freshly cooked food, essential sleeping equipment and clothes. Jessica, the charity's leader, says there's a range of reasons for the increasing amount of homeless people, having seen more in the streets this year than ever before. Yeah, there's definitely been a big rise in Leeds. It's, a, it's an ever-going problem, I think, because it, a lot of people, the reason why they're homeless is due to mental health issues. Or, for example, the extra um, bedroom tax, things like that. Um, and then when they did um, you know, benefit cuts, stuff like that, that's had a massive, massive impact. Jane, who didn't want to speak on camera, told me she's been using services like Community Kitchen for three years, having had financial problems due to her drug habit. At the outreach, she was provided with a complete set of winter clothes, shoes and sleeping bags. She said she couldn't have asked for a better Christmas present. According to the council, there were 15 rough sleepers in 2014, 13 in 2015 and less than 10 in 2017, a number Community Kitchen argue is much lower than reality. They've been told to not go under like, um, tunnels and, and certain age, uh, um, areas that are like dangerous, but that's where they will be. You know, they're going to be in these little dark alleys and they're going to be in these little areas, so it's hard to do the count. Lee City Council are asking for more time and patience from organisations like Community Kitchen. They say they are trying to fulfil the aims of the strategy plan, but are facing staff and resources cuts. I can understand people's urge to get involved, but all of us, whether we are councillors or private citizens or anybody, we must work together. And there are a couple of groups out there trying to run soup kitchens and they're not helping us and they're not helping anybody else. While the council says there's no quick fix, Community Kitchen is a lifeline to some of the most vulnerable in the world. William Murray reporting.